When people desperately search something to a Kiev, it is good, but when people want the result at their own wish, it is dangerous. Same thing happened with some ladies in India. A promise to bring home a missing grandson. A hope for a cure for asthma. A desperate longing for a child. A hope to stable marital relations. A dream to grow economically. These are just fev of the dreams that led Malika's victims to their deaths. It is very difficult for us to believe that women who are known to care, or nurture, can also be murderers. But this is true. There was an Indian woman serial killer, who used to mercilessly kill innocent ladies just because she was motivated purely by greed and the desire for better material comfort. And a deeply ambitious, lady craved the luxuries of money, and in her own words wanted, a better life and material wealth made her the first serial killer lady of India. Cyanide Malika is probably country's first female serial killer. One day the Bangalore city woke up to this chilling news on Monday. Before wrapping up the year, the city police nabbed a 43-year-old woman, who trapped women in distress and killed them with cyanide. Her name was K.D. Kempama. K.D. Kempama alias Malika is also known as Cyanide Malika. Kempama was a resident of Kigalapura in Karnataka. As a young girl, Malika was married to a tailor of modest means, but a simple life was apparently not her cup of tea. Deeply ambitious, she craved the luxuries of money and in her own words wanted a better life and material wealth. Prior to the killings, Malika had a chit fund that failed after a short while, there was a considerable loss in this business. After which in 1998, her husband kicked her out from the house. In the beginning, she worked several low-paying jobs as a domestic help and an assistant to a goldsmith. When she used to work in people's homes she was caught red-handed while stealing. In this case, she was sent to jail for a year. This was probably the major turning point in her life towards the criminal life. She wanted to become rich very quickly. For this, she again adopted the path of crime. Malika, whose real name is K.D. Kempana, apparently hung around various Bangalore temples, masquerading as a religious woman who was skilled in pujas and religious rituals. She searched for mentally disturbed women around the temples, assuring them that she would do everything right from the worship. Most of these women were facing marital problems, or were just too religious who were looking for help. Malika promised them to solve all the problems they were facing. After winning the trust of women, Malika used to ask them to wear expensive clothes and ornaments in name of rituals. After that the victims were taken to a deserted place near the temple. Then in the name of Pua, she asked the victims to close their eyes, she would forcefully make them drink water laced with cyanide by holding their nose. Malika carried out the killings with this brutality for nine years. Her first murder was committed on October 19, 1999 in Hosecote. Her victim was 30 years old Momath Harajan, who was killed while she was praying at a temple. Second victim was Elizabeth, who was 52 years old and from Satana. Elizabeth was praying to find her missing granddaughter. Kempama lured her to the Kabalama temple and killed her. Kempama's third victim was Yashadama, aged 60 years. She was killed at Siddhagangamut, Kayata Sandra in December 2007. Kempama promised to perform a ritual to offer her relief from asthma. The fourth victim was 60-year-old Miniyama, who wished to sing devotionals. She was from Yelahanka and killed at Yadia Siddhalanjishwar Temple. Her fifth victim was Bilama, aged 60 years, and killed at Madhur Vyadyanathapura. Bilama was a temple priest at Hebel Temple. 
Kempama told Pilama that she would sponsor a new arch for the Hebel Temple. Kempama's last victim was Nagavani, a 30-year-old woman that was praying to become pregnant as she was childless. She wished to have a son. Kempama killed her while she was sleeping. Commencing with her first murder in 1999 Kempama killed six women over the next eight years, five between October and December in 2007. She was arrested by Bangalore City Police on December 31, 2007, while at a bus stand on a tip-off. Kempama was using the name Jayama, and was flagged by police. She was arrested after trying to sell the jewelry of victims. She revealed startling details of the murders she had committed during questioning. On her person, she had money and valuables from some of her victims. When her plea was taken by the police, she admitted her guilt. Kempama was convicted of multiple murders in separate trials. In 2010, she was given a death sentence for the murder of Miyama. In 2012, she was given another death sentence for the murder of Nagavani. She was given the death penalty. Kempama was the first woman to be given the death penalty in Karnataka. Her sentence for Nagavani's murder was commuted into life in prison. The sentence was converted because the court found that there was only circumstantial evidence against Kempama. The purpose of this documentary is that crime never base. Kindly don't forget to subscribe and like our channel.